Hello, this is Enterprise TV. Food prices recorded a major decline in December. The latest consumer price index report released by the National Bureau of Statistics. According to the Bureau, food inflation dropped 0.89 point to stand at 19.42% as against 20.31% recorded in November. This is the first major decline in food inflation since it started increasing in November 2014. The federal government of Nigeria has distributed over 11 billion to the beneficiaries of the third edition of the UN program from 2015 to date. Mr. Salis Sudambata, the Director of Information, Federal Ministry of Finance, in a statement on Tuesday in Abuja said that out of the amount 8.52 billion naira was disbursed by the President Muhammad Buhari led administration. According to Dambata, the Minister of Finance, Mrs. Kemi Adioshim, disclosed this while releasing the last payment of 125.64 million naira for disbursements to the final 61 beneficiaries of the third edition. Ethiopia Airlines said the government of Zambia will be its major shareholder with 55% and Ethiopia will have 45% stakes in the airline. Ethiopia state-owned flag carrier ranked by the International Air Transport Association as the largest airline in Africa by revenue and profit is in talks with a number of airline companies across the continent to acquire stakes and manage operations. Ethiopia Airlines wants to increase revenue to $10 billion by 2025 and to expand its fleet to 140 aircraft from less than 90 now with its site set on Asia. South Africa's Cape Town, one of the world's iconic tourist destinations, could run out of water by April as the city's worst drought in a century weeks, forcing residents to join queues for emergency rations. Travel and tourism was accounted for an estimated 9% of 412 billion rand of South Africa's economic output last year, according to the World Travel and Tourism Council. Authorities want to reduce the city's consumption to 500 million liters a day, half the amount used two years ago. Nestle is selling its U.S. sweet and chocolate business to Ferrero Group for 2.7 billion Swiss francs. The Swiss food giant said it was offloading brands such as Crunch, Nerds, Runt, and Butterfinger to focus on other products. The deal is expected to go through by March this year. Moving down to sports, Alexis Sanchez has agreed a deal with 14 million euros a year after taxes signed for Manchester United on a contract until the summer of 2022. United appear to have won the race to sign the Arsenal attacker after Manchester City ended their interest in the Chile international, who is out of contract at the end of the season. Jose Mourinho's sides are now waiting on Henrik Kitarayan to accept the move to Arsenal after finalizing the capture of Alexis on a four and a half year contract. And that's it on Sport News. Hello, this is Enterprise TV.